What actually happens to your body when you get coronavirus? It spreads from droplets from the nose and mouth, often when you're coughing or sneezing. And they land on surfaces and you pick up the virus then with your hands. And if you touch your nose, eyes or mouth, that's how you become infected. You can also pick it up by touching other people or by shaking hands and then touching your nose, face or mouth. So what happens when it enters your body? The virus sits in the throat and the upper respiratory tract. In most cases, around 80 to 85% of them, symptoms are mild and they'll quickly pass. You may get a sore throat or a dry <laughs> cough and your throat may be red. As your immune system kicks in and you start to fight the invading virus, you may also get a temperature. Your body temperature increases as it tries to create a hostile environment for the virus. In other, more severe cases, the virus can attack the lungs and cause pneumonia. This affects maybe 15 to 20% of people. It binds to two types of cells in the lungs and causes them to clog up. Goblet cells that produce mucus and cilia cells which have hairs on them and normally prevent your lungs from filling up with debris and fluid. Generally, most people recover from pneumonia, which can take up to 10 days to peak. In the most critical cases though, coronavirus can be fatal, particularly for the elderly and those with other health conditions. In very rare cases, your immune system can go into overdrive. It produces a flood of white blood cells which activate chemicals and can leak into the lungs. This combined with the virus's attack on the lungs damages the cells even further and can make it harder and harder to breathe. The heightened immune response can also result in organ failure and death. Some young and healthy people have succumbed to the virus as the disease is new and no one has immunity to it. If you have a healthy immune system, your body will be able to fight it off successfully.